Okay, I'm going to be talking about the ACE inhibitors and the ARBs, or the angiotensin II receptor blockers now. These medications are, are very commonly used, particularly in diabetic patients, patients with CKD, uh, for first-line therapy with hypertension. Uh, you also might see these medications used in, in acute MI or as adjunctive therapy in the treatment for systolic heart failure. Uh, these are the ACE inhibitors in particular are your prills, uh, that's capopril and allopril, lisinopril, nasopril, ramipril, bosinopril, and trandolopril. Uh, they work through competitive inhibition of your angiotensin converting enzyme, uh, which is produced in the lung. Um, the ACE inhibitors basically prevent conversion of your angiotensin 1 to your angiotensin 2 uh, by preventing A from ACE from doing its job. Now angiotensin 2 is obviously a potent vasoconstrictor, so if you prevent angiotensin 1 from being converted to angiotensin 2, you can essentially control uh, hypertension. The important side effects for your ACE inhibitors to know about uh, is cough primarily. Uh, you're going to see that very frequently. Um, rarely you will see angioedema, but it's good to be aware of it because it's a very serious side effect. You can certainly see hypotension, um, a reduction in GFR, and also be very wary of hyperkalemia, so you certainly always want to check the electrolytes on patients taking ACE inhibitors. These ACE inhibitors are contraindicated uh, in women who are pregnant, uh, as they can increase certainly fetal complications. Your ARBs, or angiotensin II receptor blockers, are similar in mechanism to the ACE inhibitors in that they prevent, in essence, the action of angiotensin II from occurring. Uh, so without, again, angiotensin II uh, having an effect on the receptors in this case, uh, you reduce the vasoconstrictive properties of angiotensin II, reducing, therefore, hypertension. Uh, these ARBs are your sartans, uh, so low sartan, valsartan, omisartan, erbsartan, candesartan, and talmisartan um, are the ones you're going to see. Uh, in terms of side effects, certainly want to still be aware of a cough, though they have less of a cough than your ACE inhibitors. Um, you might see angioedema again, certainly be wary of it, particularly with low sartan and valsartan. Uh, but again, like the cough, it tends to occur less often uh, in ARBs than in ACE inhibitors. But you still, uh, like ACE inhibitors, need to be wary of hyperkalemia. So certainly, again, check the electrolytes and also be wary of hypo hypotension. And as with your ACE inhibitors, do not use these in women who are pregnant. So finally, one question you may have is should you be using your ACE inhibitors or should you be prescribing your ARBs since they're very similar to one another? Um, there have been a couple uh, trials uh, looking at the differences between the two. Um, particularly, uh, there's an ongoing uh, trial uh, looking at telmisartan and ramipril. Um, what we tend to see so far in those trials is that we, first of all, overall see similar uh, rates of hyperkalemia across the two. So again, in both ACE inhibitors and ARBs, you certainly want to measure electrolytes. However, the rate of drug continu discontinuation, it tends to be lower in your ARB, telmisartan, than with your ACE inhibitor, ramipril, um, due to the fact that ramipril uh, generally has higher rates of cough and geoedema, again, things that you might see in an ARB, but that tend to be less common in an ARB than in ACE inhibitors. Uh, it is important to know, though, that telmisartan, your ARB, is associated with higher rates of symptomatic hypotension, so perhaps be more wary of hypotension when using your ARBs.